Right now, outrage here in Tokyo from the Japanese Prime Minister and other top officials who are strongly condemning this new video, which includes a graphic photo that uh, is believed to be proof of the brutal murder, the beheading of a Japanese hostage, Haruna Yukawa, a man who went to the Middle East dreaming of a fresh start and new life as a security consultant, only to end up in the hands of ISIS, displayed in a propaganda video, and now uh, a picture purportedly of his body being uh, distributed over the Internet. But there's another situation at hand that has to be dealt with, and that is Kenji Goto, the other hostage, the journalist whose voice purportedly appears on this video. It still hasn't been authenticated yet. They, they are not 100% uh, certain that Kenji Goto uh, is still alive and, and is the voice on that recording pleading uh, directly to his wife, the mother of his, of his two young daughters, uh, to convince the Japanese government to talk to another government, the government of Jordan, and try to convince them to make a deal to trade a convicted terrorist uh, partially responsible for an attack that left dozens of people dead, to allow that convicted terrorist to walk free in exchange for his own life. The propaganda video, the new video, uh, also used Goto, who is well-respected and well-liked here in Japan, to shame uh, Prime Minister Abe, saying it was his fault that his friend uh, was murdered. But time is of the essence here. Even though this video contained no deadline, no specific time frame for this prisoner release, uh, we know from previous experience that ISIS will only keep a hostage alive if they feel this person is valuable to them in some way. So this can end in one of two ways, with some sort of a deal that would allow Kenji Goto to come home to Japan to reunite with his wife and his young children, or it could end much more tragically. Will Ripley, CNN, Tokyo.